All right, about 20 minutes later, couldn't start my car, fixed it with Coca-Cola. What the hell am I talking about? Let me show you. I guess I had a bit of a corrosion problem that I didn't realize until now. This is how the, the positive terminal lead looks. If you look under here, it's a little corroded, but it actually looks like it's completely worn through and it was just full of corrosion. So I bought a Coke, poured it all over the terminal, waited for the sizzling to stop, flush the whole thing with water, and then use WD-40. What does the WD stand for? Water displacement. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what did I learn today playing that whole game? One, I need some kind of uh, battery acid eater. I don't know exactly what I want to use yet. It would be nice to throw a couple cans of Coke in my car, but that sounds kind of stupid. Something better than that. Maybe some baking soda or something in a plastic bag. Also, a wire brush would have also helped after I had got the corrosion out to get in there and just clean it out, make it uh, make it all nice and, and creamy again. And then maybe a little container of grease. And I mean proper car grease. That would have been a little bit more helpful having that. What else? Things I did have, which would have made things a lot harder to diagnose if I didn't have them. I had my multimeter, check. I had my socket set for most of the sockets for my car, check. I had WD-40, check. I had a pair of pliers, check. And I had my water, which I always have water in my car, so not a big deal. The only thing I didn't have was the the thing to take off the acid, to clear the acid away. And that was the problem. Once I loosened up the connector, dumped the Coke in there, let it stop reacting, sprayed it down with water, then took the connector off, covered that with water, got it all cleaned off, sprayed the whole thing down with WD-40, which is supposed to act as a water barrier or a water displacer. Then I, then I bolted the whole thing together, started right back up. Trick is to have a multimeter. That is how I knew that my battery was good and that I didn't need a jump. Lesson learned. All right, so I've got a $15% off coupon and a $5 coupon I gotta spend today. So I'm getting a vise and I'm getting some more paint for our AK-47 project, part two. That was not what I expected to find. I don't really want one of those. Piece of advice on retail. If you don't see the box, and they don't have it in stock, which they don't, ask to buy the floor model. I mean, this thing, who cares? It's fine. Get a discount on the floor model. See if they'll give you 5-10% off. Alright, well that was no dice. Didn't end up getting the vice for an additional 10% off. The vice didn't have a box and it was the last one I had in stock. There's nothing wrong with it. But I asked for a discount anyway and she kind of said like, oh, the best I could do is maybe 10% off. And I was like, okay. Knowing full well that I had a 15% off coupon in my pocket. So that would have been 25% off total. But ended up, she wouldn't budge. She ended up not being able to do that. Can't even do five because they had that 15% off thing going on. Oh well. Yeah, so I got some more spray paint too. So that should be awesome because I've got everything I need to do that. Cool. Cool. All right, let's head home because I'm hungry. So, I mean, you basically described the scenario in which this kid gets catapulted into glory, right? And then you go, except it's not a homemade clock. Oh, please. Oh, please. Then you get into Stolen Valor, then you get into all the kids who have accomplished more in less time and got nothing for it. Right. And then you get into, you know, you realize why this really ticked you off so bad. Aside from Stolen Valor, right, you as a kid, your accomplishments, and then you wrap with how nobody helped you despite how many things you accomplished. And not that I needed it, but regardless, I don't think he needs it either. I don't think anybody needs it that's doing this kind of stuff. You do understand that the doors that this could have opened to you, you- Oh, you sure, sure, sure. So that wasn't an easy video to make. That wasn't a happy video to make at all. Because on one hand, it kind of sounds like I'm a whiner, right? And it's, it's not that. I, I'm not upset that I didn't get to go to the White House. And even if I was invited to the White House by Obama, I don't think I'd go. It wasn't that I didn't get accolades or attention from MIT when I was sophomore or freshman in high school. Although that would have been wonderful because that would have changed my life. It's the, the watering down to the lowest common denominator what it is to be an engineer and to make things that pisses me off.
And I and and how how do you explain that to people? How how do you explain that to people that aren't engineers? And how how do you how do you try and correct people who are engineers and or who are bending over backwards to to help this child? Yeah. Anyway, I gotta go do something else. I gotta go do something else. Yeah, I think that about does it for today. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm at a loss for words, I guess, for the rest of today. I don't know what had just all of that happened at once, and not exactly happy about what's going on with that. But I'll get on. I'm not that mad. Just frustrating more than anything. Frustrating is the proper word, I think. Anyway, tomorrow is Thursday, and that means the Friday I have off. So anyway, take it easy, guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>